basically you have a lot of theory also to study as a scuba diver which is uh, one of the main things you need to know is physics so we study physics because we need to know pressure depth you know time and then uh, the buoyancy of the body so these kind of things the second thing we study is also is uh, marine biology which you have to know because of the marine life the cycle and what is dangerous what is not dangerous for instance if if a jellyfish is uh, you know stinging you so what do you do and how do you go about it then uh, it's also important to know because as a diver we our main this thing is to see marine life so you know if you know the more you know about what fish is what and stuff like that it's much better the other third important thing that we need to know is about the you know the air that we breathe the tank that we have which is like generally a 12 liter tank which is air you know the composition is nitrogen oxygen and carbon dioxide but nitrogen level is high in in this tank because uh, one is we cannot use pure oxygen second is you know helium is too expensive to to do as for recreational diving unless you're really wealthy and things like that you would use helium and <laughs> dive so but um, so another thing what comes with nitrogen is uh, there are a lot of drawbacks not drawbacks but exactly but it's uh, it's um, consuming too much of nitrogen all the time can have effects so another thing we have to study about is the effects of nitrogen on our body and the how the effects change with depth and with time and you know for how long you you're breathing nitrogen so we have to learn about decompression sickness which is you know in case there is a nitrogen bubble which goes into your blood stream so what happens and how do you go about that and why it happens and how to avoid it then we learn another thing important we need to learn is about you know which comes with physics is air always expands as you go up you know the pressure at different levels are different so we always have to learn not to hold our breath at any given point of time because what happens is even the small air that you hold inside as you're descending up it will expand and then you'll have a lung over expansion and you know it can be fatal so these are the important rules and regulations you need to know as a diver and which is very important so theory is as important as diving is fun